Hey guys, I uh, just want to give you my preferred build for challenge rifts. And for skills, we'll be using Shield of Zen, Cyclone Strike, Seven Sided Strike, Exploding Palm, Fist of Thunder, and when we get to the boss, we'll swap out Exploding Palm for Mystic Allies. Let us forge. For Essence, we'll be Open Mind, in increase damage from your allies, Storm Spirit. This will cause your Cyclone Strike to become a stationary tornado. First Wind, which is damage reduction from your seven-sided strike. Companion's Melody, which uh, buffs the duration of your allies. Dragon's Indignation, which is going to make your seven-sided strike burn enemies. And Reaching Rebuke, which is going to cause your Exploding Palm to cause you to jump in the air and come down and land uh, wherever you target it. Uh, one thing to take note of here is that the interaction between fire or burning enemies, I should say, and wind damage. So in this case, the seven-sided strike that's continually burning enemies um, and the tornado from, oh, excuse me, from cyclone strike is that if the enemy is burning and you put the tornado up and they get hit, it will automatically crit. So that will add a substantial amount of damage, uh, especially when clearing the trash mobs out. So I will, and like I said, the two pieces for Mystic Allies, those are really, the only reason they're in there is for the bosses. And with this setup, uh, there are quite a few bosses when you're pushing the upper limits of your threshold that you will not be able to beat within the time limit. So you may have to f fish for certain bosses uh, as this setup. So I'll fast forward you to some gameplay. Okay, we're gonna do a challenge rift uh, to showcase the build here. See what we get for a mob type. Got the imps. So I'm gonna try to group these guys up. Gonna jump, drop the tornado, seven-sided strike. And then I'm gonna dash out using the Fists of Thunder. Gonna come back while cooldowns come up. Gonna jump behind them. Grab that orb, and then I'm going to plant my tornado at the base of the stairs. Again, using seven-sided strike to burn everything. Clear up these ranged mobs. Another potion off. So I'm going to look for some more density. Much better. Nowhere to be found right now. Use my fist of thunder to just kind of teleport ahead. And if I can bring everything back here, that might be all right. And I'm just kind of skirting around the outside to pick up stragglers or ranged mobs. Got a pack here coming up. Yeah, didn't need to click that. Even mountains are beneath the sky. Leave a tornado there and then try to funnel everything into it. And I'm gonna circle around kind of group everything, pick off some ranged mobs. And when I get back, I'm going to drop another tornado where everything's running. And you just see all the crits since they're on fire. I have been healed. Move forward. Past the exploders. Double pack here. Triple pack. I'm gonna look for some more trash mobs. That way to take care of advantage of the exploding palm. Not many in another pack down there. I might just have to deal with this. Again, I'm gonna port out with the Fist of Thunder. Get away from the immediate danger. And now I'm just circling around waiting for cooldowns. Jump, tornado, seven sided strike, set them all on fire. And just let those crits do the work. Now I've got a large lead from triple pack. Again, I want to look for another pack to drag, or trash mobs to drag all this into, but get away from the exploders, not quite in time. 
and drag everything back to the range mod. Just funnel them in. Couple seconds on my tornado. So the gods wish for my. A few more mobs will get the guardian up. Dodge the exploders. Small group should do it. I got the shrine. I'm going to change my skill. Uh, Mystic allies in for exploding palm. And that's going to give me a lot more single target damage. There are some adds on this boss. Pop my ult so that I can port back in and get a shield. Boss, as you can see, is the more difficult part. Your seven-sided strike is a damage reduction with this build, so if you know there's some damage coming, you can pop that. Obviously avoid it if possible. Uh, but I do have a lot of damage on him, so as long as I kind of avoid the damage he's doing, I'll be fine. Pop my allies there just as a kind of a meat shield as his summons came up. Trying to let the uh, globes and health pot top me off as my cooldowns come up. Got stuck there, so I used my seven-sided strike to avoid his uh, hand slap. Get my allies up, and that should do it. So there you go. Um, this is a little bit lower than the challenge rift that I can clear. Uh, however, since I was talking my way through it for everybody, I just scaled it down a little bit to make it a little easier on myself. But that's the general gist of the build. Good luck.